Hey guys, how you doing this morning? It's Marla. Hopefully everybody is doing well. I really horrible looking coffee with me this, this morning. My coffee always looks so grungy and disgusting because I mix collagen in here, but I also mix a little bit of peanut butter powder in here. I know that sounds really disgusting, but I do. So I get a little bit of protein in my coffee. It's actually grown on me. I actually kind of like it. Somebody commented one time, man, that coffee looks really... <laughs> really bad. And that's why all the crap I put in my coffee. But anyway, this is going to be a retin A discussion, retinol discussion. I was recently doing some reading on retin A and retinols, kind of trying to understand why I love niacinamide so much. Because if you know me, you know I am a lover, believer, constant talker of using products that contain niacinamide. I was doing some reading recently and really saw studies that show showed that combining a niacinamide or a niacinamide moisturizer with a retinol product is really very beneficial, kind of boosts the effectiveness of the retinol product. They did some studies where they treated people with niacinamide on their skin and combined it with a retinol and compared them to people that use the retinol alone. And the people that had the combination of the niacinamide product or niacinamide moisturizer with the retinol actually had less skin irritation and it actually seems to boost the effectiveness of the retinol product. That is how I'm going to get into this discussion. You guys know, if you've watched my channel before, that I use my Retin-A from my esthetician or from my doctor's office. I use this probably three to four times a week, but then on the other days, I just use a, a regular retinol product, not Retin-A. My Retin-A is different than a lot of other people's Retin-A because it combines all the good stuff together. If you look at the side of it, you will see that my Retin-A, besides containing tretinoin, it also contains niacinamide and hyaluronic acid right in with my Retin-A 0.1%. So what I normally do is I will normally use this three to four times a week, but then on the other days, I use a strictly retinol product. And when I use a strictly retinol product, I make sure I use a moisturizer that contains some type of either niacinamide or hyaluronic acid. And that's what brings me to this discussion today because I was recently asked by my contacts at Teamy whether or not I wanted to test another one of their products. About a year or so ago, I tested their green tea clay mask and really loved it. And I was looking over the website and I saw this overnight mask and I said, this is what I want to test out because this hydration mask contains in it niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, something I always want to combine with my retinols during the week. This is what the product looks like. As you can see, the product contains niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, a great combination for when you use a retinol. If you're someone that hasn't even started using a retinol yet or retin-A and you're worried about irritation, a lot of times they tell you to pre-treat your skin with either a niacinamide alone or a niacinamide moisturizer about three to four weeks before you even start using your retinol. That way it really seems to help reduce irritation from the retinol product. Combining a niacinamide or a niacinamide containing moisturizer with a retinol can actually help boost the effectiveness of your retinol. What I liked about this mask from Tami is besides being cruelty free, and I know a lot of my subscribers are really pushing me to use as much cruelty-free skincare and makeup as I possibly can. And whenever I can, I am trying to switch over as much as possible to cruelty-free if I can. This is a really nice moisturizer. It's really a great idea if you're using a retinol to combine it with a moisturizer that contains niacinamide and even hyaluronic acid, which this one does. Retin-A can cause irritation to your skin. It also can cause water loss from the skin and that's why it's a good idea to combine something that actually is going to help boost water hydration in the skin. And that's what hyaluronic acid does. It really helps to attract that moisture into your skin. Niacinamide is also great because it can help promote collagen production. It also can help to strengthen your skin's barrier. This product also contains obviously a tea because every product I've tried for 
them so far contain some type of tea. And the tea that this contains is something called butterfly tea. Butterfly tea is rich in polyphenols and flavonoids. Those ingredients are really great at rejuvenating your skin. What I normally do is during the week when I'm just using my strict Retin-A, I don't combine anything with this because this already contains the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid for me. On the other days when I'm just using a strictly retinol product, I'd like to pair it with something that does contain niacinamide. It smells really fresh. I love the fact that this hydration mask contains the two ingredients that I love to combine with my retinol. It's going to help to reduce any irritation you have on your skin and it's going to help to boost hydration, really make your skin feel plumper and juicier and more supple when you wake up the next morning. It definitely is what contributes to my face never looking really dry and always looking plump. This is a great mask besides being cruelty free. They also use 100% natural organic ingredients. If you look at the box on this product, it says it's natural, vegan, it's non-GMO product, certified cruelty free. These products are made in Florida. It's made without alcohol, parabens, synthetic dyes, artificial fragrances, or harmful chemicals. So it is a clean beauty product. You can feel comfortable putting it on your skin. Your skin absorbs so much stuff. I really like to try to use as many creams that are clean beauty products that I can. It's a really nice overnight hydration moisturizer. Whether or not you use a retinol product or not, I'll leave a link for this down in my description box if they were able to get give me a coupon code. I will put it either down here or down in my description box. If you do some reading on studies that were done with retinols and combining retinols with moisturizers that contain niacinamide, the pairing of the two together really is a great combination. I think retinol products are kind of around 5.5 to a 6 pH. I think niacinamide has a pH that runs from 5 to 7. So the pH of the two is very similar you can layer the products together. You can even space them out, you know, five to 10 minutes apart. Normally what I do is I like to put the retinol on my face first, let that really soak in for about 20 minutes. And then I apply some type of moisturizer or mask like this one on top of it. And then when I wake up the next morning, the retinol has done its job. But at the same time, I never have any dryness or flakiness on my skin and it absorbs into your skin nicely. You wake up the next morning, morning, your skin's nice and soft and plump. It counteracts any irritation that you might get from using a retinol product. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye from Marla.